Hey, what's going on? So today I'm going to show you a very cool plugin and how you can get clear and warm vocals in a natural way with this EQ. Um, FX EQ by way. So stick, stay around and um, watch this tutorial to know how to use this um, cool plugin and a cool way to bring some warmth and clarity to your vocals. So, let me play this track that I'm working on right now. And I'm doing this completely on the fly. I'm on Nigeria, you're Roba at the Ebo. I stand by the green like Silo. They can they drink me low. Or got they tell street person Pico. They try to. So, you see this lead vocal right here that I just soloed? This is the vocal that I'm going to work on on this verse right here. I'm on Nigeria, you're Roba at the Ebo. I stand by the green like Silo. They can they drink me low. Or got they tell street person Pico. They try to take. It sounds good because I already have some processing going on, but I have this F6 plugin at the end and I wanted to add a little bit more warmth and body to the vocal as well as some air and presence. So let's play with some frequencies and see what happens. So first I'm going to just grab a band and kind of find like the sweet spot where I start hearing some more clarity in the vocal. I'm on Nigeria, you're Roba at the Ebo. Oh. I stand by the green like Silo. They can they drink me low. Or got they tell street person Pico. They try to tame us, but we ain't hippo. So, right there, um, I boosted that um, frequency at about 6.3k 6, 6 or so. And I'm starting to finally hear a uh, little bit more clarity. Um, but now it's getting too bright and harsh, so I want to tone that back now. This is kind of like a multi-band compressor, but it's more of an EQ. So now I'm going to tone that back now by compressing this band that I just boosted. Um, I'll do a range generally anywhere around like 4, 4 dB. Around 4 dB is good. And then I'll start compressing and bringing the threshold down now. I'm on Nigeria, you're Roba at the Ebo. I stand by the green like Silo. They can they drink me low. Or got they tell street person Pico. They try to tame us, but we ain't hippo. Let me bypass that and let's hear it. Um, so bypassed. I'm on Nigeria, you're Roba at the Ebo. I stand by the green like Silo. They can they drink me low. Okay, back in. I'm on Nigeria, you're Roba at the Ebo. I stand by the green like Silo. They can they drink me low. Or got they tell street person Pico. They try to tame us, but we ain't hippo. Struggle, no go follow me. But if you follow, you no follow me. Cool, I like that because it adds a little bit of clarity to the vocal, but it's not harsh. So now I want to do the same thing by adding some more body, some more weight to the vocal in the low mids area but also not making it muddy so the same thing i'm gonna i'm gonna bring some more harmonics by boosting this area and then i'm gonna reduce it with the compressor function so here we go again i'm on Nigeria, you Roba at the Ebo. i stand by the green like silo they can they drink me low or got they tell street person pico they try to tame us but we ain't hippo struggle no go follow me but if you follow you no follow me when i borrow you know if you borrow me or lo show want to condo me the summer right around there um i'm liking it so now I'm just going to do the same thing and compress. So I'm going to bring down my range on this EQ to 40 B and that's the maximum range that I'm going to compress um, this band. You can see that we boosted about six DB. So I guess just for safety sake, I could go at least to six DB, but I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to reduce over 60 B cause then I'd be below the zero level point. And effectively, I would I wouldn't be boosting any frequencies, which I do want to boost just in a natural way. So, um, yeah. So we'll do a six dB range max, and then let's bring some threshold in and bring the threshold down, and let's hear uh, myself reduce those lower harmonic frequencies that I just boosted on this band too, so that it's more tight. With the vocal. Here we go. I'm on Nigeria, you're Roba at the Ebo. I stand by the green like Silo. They can they drink me low. Or got they tell street person Pico. They try to tame us, but we ain't hippo. Struggle, no go follow me. I like that. Let's um bypass that band and, and see what happens. So 
Check it out. You hear it? You know, the vocals is a teeny bit thin. It could be a little bit more thicker, so I put this back in. And let's hear what we got. I like it. I just brought the threshold back up a little bit because I thought I was compressing a little bit too much. But I think I got it. So let's bypass this plugin. And you can hear how much of a difference this one plugin, the F6, makes, um, which is an EQ plugin by Waves. So check it out, bypassed. More Niger, you're a bar at the Ebo. I stand by the green like Zillow. The king they drink me low. And we'll put back in the F6 plugin now. More Niger, you're a bar at the Ebo. I stand by the green like Zillow. The king they drink me low. Or got they tell street pressing Pico. That vocal is just more aggressive now. It's a little bit more clear. It has more body. It's fuller. It's just more like a hip hop vocal, you know, more in your face. So I love it. Um, so I just wanted to show you that plugin F6 by Waves. It's a very cool EQ plugin. Um, again, it's main. It's an EQ plugin, but you can compress these different frequency bands as you EQ. So it doesn't function as a as a traditional EQ plugin, but you can compress these frequency bands so that you EQ in a smoother way. Is the sense? Notice I didn't even play with the attack of the release. Um, generally, I mean, these are pretty much, you know, you can fine tune those, but, um, for the most part, just doing the gain reduction, um, you'll hit, you'll hit your targets. You'll get the most bang out of it just by doing that. Sometimes you don't even need the attack and the release. So hope you guys like that a tutorial on the vocals. Um, if you are a music creator or a music producer or a mixing engineer, um, I have a completely free guide that I've created called Before Mixing, and it goes over the eight most common mistakes that artists and creators make before getting their songs mixed. So if you read this guide, download this guide first, obviously, and then if you read it, um, you will solve these eight mistakes that most people make, and your songs will be so much better um, this year. So Download that free guide. I have a link in my bio for you to get that um, guide. Um, on my Instagram page is link in bio as well for you to get that guide. So I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Um, the more subscribers I got, the more I will be pumping out these videos for you guys. And like this video if you liked it too. Um, leave a comment below too. You know what are What is your biggest mixing challenge right now? What is the hardest thing for you to figure out in mixing? Leave a comment and I'll do a video on it. Hope you guys like that. Peace.